Hello divers, this is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips and techniques video. In this video, we'll be talking about twin set tank band dissimilar metal galvanic corrosion. And in keeping with the theme of this channel, we'll be talking about an innovative way of avoiding this problem. All twin set tank bands are constructed of stainless steel. When these tank bands are used on aluminum tanks, dissimilar metal galvanic corrosion may occur. Here is an example of dissimilar metal galvanic corrosion. This set of stainless steel tank bands were mounted directly onto this set of aluminum tanks. Aside of being unsightly, this situation could ultimately result in pits in the outside of the aluminum tanks. There are different common preventative measures. Many divers utilize a section of insulating material between the tank bands and the tanks. This material could be inner tube tire rubber or PVC shower liner. There are a number of problems with these approaches. First, the material can be expensive or difficult to find. Two, it may be tedious to line up the material neatly under the tank bands. Three, the material can be displaced from underneath the tank bands during the 11 inch band spacing process. And finally, fourth, you have to do it over each time to remove the bands for inspection. After doing this a few times, you may ask yourself, is there a better way? On this channel, if you haven't already noticed, we are always asking ourselves this question. Here is today's solution. This may not be the best solution in the future, but for now, it seems to be working quite well. So what this is, it's a 3M safety walk tape. Uh, and I'm sure there are many other manufacturers. And what this has is a rubberized texture on the top and an adhesive uh, compound on the bottom. So what you do with this material is you cut off uh, approximately a 20 inch strip and you're going to adhere this to the inside of the tank band on each side. The difficult part of this process is adhering the safety tape uh, to uh, the inside of the tank band uh, and making sure that it lays flat. If you've ever attempted to put a nitrox sticker on the outside of the tank, you can imagine how difficult this process can be. Here are step-by-step -step instructions for installing the tape. With the backing still on the rubber non-skid tape, you want to center and tension the tape on the inside of the tank band. This initial position will also hopefully be the final position of the non-slip tape. While the non-skid tape is tensioned against the tank band, you need to remove two inches of the tape backing. Next, press the two inch section of the exposed non-skid tape against the inside of the tank band. With the initial section of non-skid tape adhered to the inside of the tank band, you can continue removing the protective material and continue pressing the tape against the inside of the tank band. During this process, ensure that you are maintaining the proper spacing with respect to the edges of the tank band with the non-skid tape. Here is an image of the non-skid tape applied to the entire inside of the tank band. Here is a completed set of tank bands. Not only will the tank bands be insulated from the aluminum cylinders, but the non-skid tape will also help prevent the bands from slipping on the tanks. Here is an image of the tank bands on a set of aluminum uh, tanks. 
the bands slide easily up and down the cylinders until the bolt is tightened. In the event that the cylinders need to be inspected, you can easily remove and replace the one piece tank band and non-skid material. There is no need to reposition inner tube rubber or PVC insulating material. That's it for today's video. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.